All right. Hello, friends on the various interwebs. Um, doing something a little weird. I think I'm live. Okay. What, what the hell? Uh, oh, someone joined. Okay, so um, I've been a bad, bad brood brother to um, my hobby brother, Hydra. Uh, he's doing this really cool thing called The Alignment, which is a um, Frostgrave narrative event. And for The Alignment, he sent out these really cool cute clues for all of us. So this is the most recent clue, and this is what I'm going to be unboxing today live because I've been slow in unboxing it and he keeps asking me when I'm going to do it. So just to give an idea of like the crazy stuff that this man, this is, this is the one man effort. This is not some iron sleep bullshit where there's like an army of people working on this stuff. This is just Hydra putting the stuff together, doing all this lettering, doing all these cool drawings. So like he'll send us this letter that says, Sire, this map was secured while being passed from one of the cultists you tasked us to watch to another. It is not accurate since cities are in wrong the wrong places. Your I can never read his writing. Your something failed to decipher it. We will continue the watch. And then you get this. Which is this like hand drawn hand drawn fucking map with some cool places on it. Check that out. Look at that detail. That is some crazy shit. This is all about Hydra. This is what he does. So he sends us this and he's like, hey, here's a clue. Figure out what it means. And we're like, god damn. Can't you just tell us? This is some complicated shit. So yeah, that's his, that's an example of like one of the previous clues that came through. Oh, hey, Forest Sprite. Hey, Dirty Bird. Or Pigeon. Welcome. Uh, so that's the second clue I think that we got. So he went to town on the third and fourth clue. So earlier in the week, this one came through. And uh, howdy, Blitz Mechanica. I, I can't really monitor the comments on everything because I'm doing this on Instagram and on uh, YouTube. But um, yeah, so this is an earlier, the, most, the second most recent clue. So you can see he's got like these like awesome wax seals on them. I think it's a, is it a U or is it an H? I think it's probably an H for Hydra. So you open this one up. And what have we got here? Oh, it's another, it's another letter from my, my loyal subjects, my loyal servants. Sire. We have managed to intercept a Dakin of the Clavis cult on the trail to Felstad. For anyone who's not familiar with Frostgrave, Felstad is the town, city, where uh, Frostgrave happens. Um, he and his entourage defended the items we are sending you with their lives. The illumination and the text were the only pieces of the book we could take from them. Calvin had to cut the key from the deacon's stomach, for he had swallowed it. We hope these items help you on your quest. Nice, fine, fancy signature. And then we got this piece of a book, and we got this illumination, and then we got this creepy key that was cut out of someone's stomach. What the hell is this? So, this illumination, I think this one was actually printed. This one, hand-lettered by... Hydra himself, because he's a crazy person. Did I mention he has two kids and he's trying to do a renovation right now? It's a good thing he's got so much free time at school. Anyway. And I saw, through the window in the tower, while the seven sigils lit up, the mountains and what lay beneath them, the forest and what it was hiding, the swamp and its pits, yes, even the coastline and what lay beyond. All that began to move. And I saw the one began to move where it stood still, it could see the lock, the city, and the peaks. The one was holding a key, and it was guarded by others who screamed. And from beyond, even behind the door and the maze, the answer came. The alignment was complete. The alignment, that's the name of the event. This is important shit. So check this out. So we've got, like... An angel here with a key. Oh, look, I got a key. Maybe that's my key. And then we've got a another cherubim here with, like, a, a horn. Um, and we got a bunch of tentacles coming out of a well. And we got, like, a, a shattered pot here and, like, a door. Oh, what was the thing about the door? 
Uh, seven sigils lit up the mountains that lay beneath them. From beyond, even behind the door in the maze, the answer came. I don't know. So uh, we got like big angel with the key. Looks like it's trying to take out these these tentacles. But if you look closely, there's a shackle here, and it looks like the angel is shackled to the tentacles somehow. No entrails. Well, these might be entrails. Who knows? Um, so yeah. And then uh, what else is going on in this picture? We got some stars back here. Got some clouds building up. We got a tower. Wait, what was the thing with the tower? Saw through the window in the tower. While the seven sigils lit up. Seven sigils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? The stars? Um, the mountains and what lay beneath them. So we got some mountains here. And what lies beneath them? I can't really see. There's like a blasted waste. And there's like a building over here. And the tower. Uh, the forest and what it was hiding. I don't see a forest here. It's kind of gone. The swamp and its pits. That looks like a swamp and pits. Yes, even the coastline and what lay beyond. All that began to move. So we got this coastline. We got a boat there. I don't know. Oh, wait. Is there something in here? I don't know. I can't really tell. So this is clue number three. But but the real action here is... Uh, it stood still. The lock, the city of the peaks. The lock, the city of the peaks. Is there a lock here? It looks like there might be a lock there. The one was holding a key, this guy. And it was guarded by the others who screamed. So this one's holding a key and it's guarded by these? By this guy? From beyond, even behind the door in the maze, the answer came. Okay, well. Let's see what's going on with clue number four. Because this is clue number three. Let's put that to the side because we might need to uh, use that to decipher clue number four. Which is la pièce de résistance. So put this over here. Oh yeah, dirty birds. No entrails on the key. Well, the, the key was clean, but it, it definitely, when I read that part of the letter and then I looked at the key, I was like, oh, this has been in somebody's guts. You can see it's like, it looks like it's been corroded by, uh, by some uh, intestinal juices. It looks like it's got like maybe animals on it. And I think this is important. I think the shape of the key is important because like, if you look... This here is one part of the sigil for the alignment. Um, you can I don't know how well you can see it here, but this is one of the sigils. I think this was created by um, Lars Sonic on uh, Instagram. So it's like a triangle within a triangle and a dot. But I feel like this is also one of the sig sigils of the alignment, like a triangle with a circle. I don't know. That could be part of that. Actually, yeah, that looks like that part of it. Because it's got like a line here, and then it's got like this triangle bit, but there's like a piece cut in. I don't know. We all got slightly different keys. There's a picture of them that Hydra posted, but I don't have it here. Okay, so let's 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 check it out. Let's put the entrail key aside. Oh wait, that's yeah, that's the letter that goes with this. Okay, that can go over there. And let's see what's going on here. Thanks for joining on. Oh, Steve Famine, you're enjoying this. Okay, that's good, buddy. Um, not sure what I should do first. I feel like the way Hydra works is that you got to open the letter first, and then you got to open the box. So let's open the letter first. It's got another cool H sigil on it. See that? Nice wax detail. Once again, Hydra did this all at his own expense. This is for an event that he wanted to host. Um, a Frostgrave 28 event, so kind of like a grimdark Frostgrave event. But because of the pandemic, who knows when he's going to be able to host it. Uh, okay, here we, oh, here we go. Sire, we had set up camp near to Innis. Is Innis on that map? Where's that map? Where'd the map go? Bring me the map! Servant! Uh, I don't see Innis. Tot, oh, Totnes. Oh, near Totnes. Ah, set up camp here. Ah, look, the clues, they're working together. Let's see what else it says. So we got Totnes right, right there is Totnes. So we had set up camp near Totnes when we were approached by a hooded friar. He revealed himself as a brother of the Turis Fenestra. 
Turis Fenestra. Fenestra is, is Turis Fenestra. Anybody speak Latin? Uh, I think Fenestra is window. Uh, do you think the others playing got different objects from the picture? That's a good point, Dirty Birds. Uh, someone else might have gotten a different picture from me. I should check. We have like a, a Discord where we we all post our shit. But um, anyway, he revealed himself as a brother of the Taurus Fenestra. Taurus is Taurus like a tower? Please, does anyone have some Latin? Can anyone comment in the chat with some Latin? What is a Taurus? T u r r i s. Fenestra, I'm pretty sure, is a window. He handed us over the included item and faxed, asked, tasked, tasked us to deliver the following message to you. In initium, is that like initiate? Initium, we have observed you and decided that you have traveled the path far enough to receive a crucial token for your journey. But beware the truth may be found at the hollow and only one side may be, may be chosen. We will continue the watch. Beware, the truth may be found at the hollow. Oh, bottom. Oh, is that bottom? Shit. The truth may be found at the bottom. It's probably bottom. And only one side may be chosen. All right, well, let's see what this is all about. I'm excited. So we got a little box thing here. Check out that letter. Check out that nice signature. Ooh. Fenetra. Thanks, Rombadut. Uh, Rombadut, what, is, what does tourist mean? Tourist Fenestra. If anyone's got tourists, let me know what tourist is all about. Howdy, Hutch. Welcome, buddy. I'm doing something really weird here. Hope you enjoy. This is unboxing a clue from Hydra for his um, narrative fg28 event i'm glad i didn't have to break that because i really like that sigil so let's see what we're doing here how's the how's the focus on youtube how are you guys seeing it let's see if i can fix that for you one sec uh oh god i'm on uh oh, this might get a little awkward oh, oh, that didn't look like it changed anything actually um scoping distance is that better nope that is not better I guess that's better if I hold it up. Okay, that's optimal. That's suboptimal. No, okay, we'll go back. Uh, is that? Nope, that's not better. Maybe this is too bright. Let's go with. Let's go back to the setting I always had it. In. Okay, cool. Um. So there's the map if I need it. Tonus. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Fenestra. Hello, is Mr. Pink. Hi, Hackmeister. I'm doing something weird. I'm opening uh, Hydra's clue for his uh, alignment event. Hi, dudes. Might be interest to other people. Uh, if anyone speaks Latin in the chat, can you please tell me what tourist means? T-U-R-R-I-S. Okay, that's that one. Okay, uh, let's let's do this. Da -da 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 -da. The truth is at the bottom, but only one side may be chosen. It said, "Ooh, look at this! Look at this sexiness! Little wooden box, some uh, some uh, some weathering there. I think we got. I think that might be a little more than just some uh, nihilac oxide or whatever." Um, Oh, man, that's cool. Etched in there. Hockey player or tower? Okay, tower. Thanks, Hutch. I thought it was probably tower. Yeah, it's all drawings. Like, this is all him, man. This is all, like, Hydra just pulling it out of his butt. Doing it all himself. And he did, like, five of these. Or six of these. Because there's, like, a whole bunch of different people who are involved with this. Um, so he is a very talented individual. Did I mention he's an art teacher? Okay, we got a box. Oh, what's this? in here uh okay what did it say it said only one can be chosen no nope, that's not the one this one initium we have observed you and decided that you have traveled the path far enough to retrieve a crucial token of your journey for your journey but beware the truth may be found at the bottom and only one side may be chosen okay so 
what I see here is I see two... Oh my god, Hydra. Good work. These are like... I think these are like legit super old chess pieces that he bought somewhere. And it looks like there's like a... Uh, uh, what does this say? Pars? Park? Plark? I have no idea what that says. Um, so... We've got a white chess piece and a black chess piece. So it looks like you got to change only one side may be chosen. So I think I got to choose good or evil. I'm totally going evil because I've already kind of conceived my frost gray band and I think I'm going to go with evil. Uh, very cool. Is that all drawings? Two equals towers. Okay, so we got this. What else is in here? Is this just is this just packaging so that they didn't rattle around? Or is this a further clue? Let's see. I think it's probably just packaging. Let's see. It is just packaging. Maybe I should dip this in some lemon juice and see if a magical mystery... Maybe I should run it under a flame and see if a magical mystery message comes out. I, oh, is it a knight? No, it's a rook. So we got a pawn and we got a rook. So I would say a rook is probably higher up than a pawn. So I'm all about the rook. Um, so, I don't know what this says. Does anyone have a read on this? Okay, wait, hold on a sec. Uh, I'm gonna try and fix something here. So you can see it better on the YouTube stream. Can anyone read this on the YouTube stream? It looks like, like, maybe a P or a D. And I want this to be like an R. Well, that's clearly an S. And then here it looks like maybe a P, maybe that's a C? Beside it, I don't know, and like a P and like an L and A R E something. Anyone on YouTube or Instagram got a read on this? I can't really figure out what it's saying. It's like Pars Park. I don't freaking know. Anyway, it said in the in the the truth may be found at the bottom, and only one side may be chosen. So I think that I need to get in the bottom of this thing. So I'm going to go digging. Let's get my uh, sculpting tool. Oh, look! A false bottom! Hmm, what have we here? Oh, that's probably a little bright. The truth may be found at the bottom, but only one side may be chosen. Some some A-plus work here, Hydra. Some A-plus work. I'm going to cram this in here. I probably won't be able to get that out again. There's our weird Pars Park thing. What is in the bottom here? Okay, like, has anyone seen anything this epic for another narrative event? Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> I honestly thought that was, like, actual worms in there. What the sh- Yo! Yo, what the fuck? Holy toot! Oh my god, you maniac! What have you done? Jesus! Oh, crap! Look at this! God damn it, Hydra! You maniac! Okay, hold on a second. Uh, sorry, Crafting Troll. You came in in the middle of me opening a, uh, a clue from Hydra for his narrative event for Frostgrave 28. Um, it's called The Alignment. So I just busted open this, this package from him, and in the bottom of this chest, look at this bullshit. Dude has sculpted this from scratch, and then cast it in resin. This man is a monster. Holy toot. Okay, so this is clearly a piece of, like, an overall puzzle that I clearly need to assemble with my chums from the alignment group. Damn, look at them tentacles. Okay, so in case I haven't said it enough, Hydra taught me everything I know about sculpting. And look at them tentacles. Look at those weird sigils. There's like an eye in there. There's like a skull with a tentacle coming out of it. There's more sigils. It's all like weathered and shit. Oh wait, what's on the back? Okay, well, the back doesn't look like anything. But knowing Hydra, there's another clue here. Oh, what could it be? Oh. 
I don't know, it looks like a bunch of mountains and a couple of, I don't know, spaces or shit. Damn. This is amazing. I love it! All right, let's let's have a good look at it over on Instagram land. Look at this. Thought it was incredible before. Look at the look at the detail on this mother. Look at that tentacle coming out of that skull. Here, let's go back to one moment. Uh, look at this. Look at this business that Hydra created. Sculpted, weathered. Got some writhing tentacles, got a sigil. Clearly looks like it's been broken off another piece. Another piece broken off up here, but this is some amazingly next level garbage right here. Damn it, Hydra! You're a monster! What a monster. Okay, what does that letter say about the thing in the bottom? So to review, things found in this package. Uh, a rook. Oh shit. Maybe... A rook, a pawn, some artful, felstaty, medieval looking packaging. Why didn't we shove this in the top? A false bottom to this box. I'm going to store some interesting shit in here now when this is all done. And this amazing piece. So we got, <clears throat> the letter says, Initium, we have observed you and decided that you have traveled the path far enough to receive a crucial token for your journey. But beware, but beware, the truth may be found at the bottom, and only one side may be chosen. So this is the truth. I found it in the bottom. Um, to Hutch's point, there might be bottoms on the rooks. Uh, at the, oh. Yo, shit, Hutch! Hutch, you're a genius! I'm so glad you're here. I would totally miss that. Check this out. Hutch is like, maybe the bottom refers to the bottom of the pieces. Okay. If you look at the bottom of this piece, it's got an alignment sigil on it that's been put on there by pencil. And if you look at the bottom of this piece, well, there's nothing, I don't think. Comparing the two, you can see the, the pencil lead there? The triangle circle thing? Hmm, hmm. What could this be? The truth can be found at the bottom. The truth may be found at the... Oh, no, at the bottom, and only one side may be chosen. Okay, so I was going to choose black, but the black doesn't have the sigil on it. The white has the sigil on it. So I feel like I should choose the white, because that has the sigil. Because it has the truth on the bottom. However, the truth at the bottom could also be the fact that, like, the, the box had a false bottom. And in the false bottom was this little token of amazingness. God damn, I love it so much. It's so cool. Man, I'm glad my wife isn't here. She got so pissed the last time I opened one of these things from Hydra. And uh, because she's like, why are your friends so cool? Why don't I have cool friends like you? I'm like, I don't know, buddy. Um, so Hydra sent her like a little gift alongside the first clue in this package. But I'm glad she didn't see this one because damn. Um, oh, look, he put a little thing in there to hold the false bottom. Artful work, Hydra. Hydra, artful work. Okay, what are folks saying in the chat on the, the YouTubes? Okay. Uh, what are we saying? We talked about the tourists as towers. Okay, that's what I guessed. Very cool. Tourists can be in rook, pawn, and a tower. I am here to destroy the day. Mark, good to see you destroying the day. Maybe on the bottom of the chess piece. That was a good call, Hutch. It's there. Uh, hi, all. Yeah, we. Uh, oh, cool is that T? That's such a cool project. Eldar symbols. What a legend. Looks like a part of the map on the back. Yeah, it does kind of look like a part of a map on the back, doesn't it, Hutch? No, it's not Hutch, that's Mark. Um, where's that Where's that other picture? Too many cool things from Hydra. Can't keep track of them all. So, black and white mark on the back. Peter, black and white mark on the back of what, man? Where have you seen that? Uh, yeah, this is pretty freaking incredible. I can't believe it. Peter also got the symbol on the bottom. Genius. Man, you guys are right on top of this. You guys should be getting these clues, not me. Um, so, we got this We got this map. So, I feel like we got to put all these things together. Because, like, the clue that came just before this one was this one. Which was the key. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just fucking reefed this thing out of here. 
But I was supposed to like be like, oh, I've got my key. Why don't I put the key in here and pull it out? Okay, clearly I should have I should have done it that way. So this was in here, maybe like that. And then this was in here, maybe like that. And then my camera was not in trash mode. My camera was in uh, this mode. And then I had this here, like this. And then what I was meant to do was I meant to go, oh, huh, looks like a keyhole, old boy. Maybe I should take this key I just got and shove it in there. Ah, it fits. It fits. The lock, the key, it fits. What, what say you? Okay, that's how I was supposed to figure it out. But I still have no idea what this is. Somebody help me. Pars. Plar. Plate Clark, I don't, I have no freaking idea what this says. Does anyone have an idea what this is all about? So we've got, we've got this bad boy and we've got this, we've got this, let's, let's clean this up a bit. Let's clean up a bit here, shall we? In here. Go back in your box. Strange. Read things. Seriously, man. Like Hydra, when you see this video, I saw this in here underneath this, and I saw these worm crack sculpts. I'm like, oh, did he actually put mealy worms in there? How did he get that through the post? Okay, that goes back in there. False bottom. Back in the box. Oh wait, that's the false bottom. That's the real deal. Back in there. I don't think the box has any other further clues for us, but let's check the bottom of this thing. Of course now I can't get it back out. Way to go, Pinky. Uh, no, that doesn't look like there's anything on it. I can't believe the artifice that went into this. Hydra built all this shit himself. And he built like f six or eight copies of this stuff. Uh, I don't see anything on the latch. Bottom of the box. That would have been a cool place to hide something. There's like kind of some like impressions here, but I don't see anything. Instant name probably. What's the instant name? What are we talking about? Rombolt. What's the instant name probably? What have so the, these guys have holes in the bottom? Yes, but is there a purpose to the the different pieces having holes in the bottom? I don't know. One of them has the alignment sigil on it. Okay, box is probably fine. Probably nothing to do with the box. It's a delivery device for the the coolness. So we got. Anything on here? Did did you like hide anything on the wrapping? I don't see. Oh no, just some staining. Nice. Okay, uh, we got a map of the area. Actually, there's one more clue that came before this, but I I put it in a notebook and I need to go find it. Um, we got this. We got this. We got these. We got this. It's got some crazy sigils on it inspired by Eldar runes that looks like a 24 kind of thing I don't know what the heck that is so we got this we got let's see if this makes another, any more sense now I saw through the window in the tower while seven sigils lit up the mountains and what lay beneath them the forest and what it was hiding, the swamp and its pits. Yes, even the coastline and what lay beyond. All that began to move. So is it like these? Because we got some mountains here. Or we got mountains on here. I think it's referring to this because they came together. Um, the truth may be found at the hall, bottom and only one side may be chosen. Okay. Um, the hell? The heck is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's not on screen. Um, let's get this out of the way. Cause I'm not. Oh no! Whoops! 
just breaking things on YouTube, no problem. Patience. Okay. Um, is that too bright? Oh, that's probably a little bit better. Hmm. What the heck is going on here? I want this key to do something. Like, I want it to, like, point to something or, like, be a shape that we use to, like, I don't know. That body's holding the key like that. I want it to, like, point somewhere. But I don't really know. Okay, what are people helping me with in the chat? Part of the map on the back, can the key fit in the holes in the bottom of the chess pieces? That's a very good question. The The end of the key does fit in the, the hole at the bottom of the chess piece, but I don't know to what end. This one too. Uh, they're not they're not hollow or anything. They're solid. Like it looks like they've got holes drilled in the bottom of them, but I think they already had those. I think the only way they've been altered is with this sigil that's been penciled on the bottom of one of them. Uh, but that's a good suggestion. Uh, what's going on in the Instagram chat? Anyone? They have holes in the bottom. Yeah, we got the the holes in the bottom, but I don't know what they're what the holes are for. What does this say? And I saw through the window in the tower while the seven sigils lit up. So I think that this whole letter refers to this piece. And when it says, I saw through the window in the tower, there's like, this is a tower and there's a window there. Like there's, there's ones that are darkened and there's one that's lit up. So maybe that's where the person's observing from? I don't know. While the seven sigils lit up, I think the seven sigils are the seven stars. Because there's seven stars here. Um, the mountains and what lay beneath them. So the mountains and what lay beneath them is kind of like making me think of the box and like how there was stuff beneath the level of the box. And But I think it's also like there's these mountains and then there's like what lay beneath them. But then on this map, we've got mountains here. There's, oh shit, there's mountains here, there's mountains here. They said they were camped near Totnes. So beneath these mountains, this is kind of beneath them. Ted Detford, Tedford, I don't know. Uh, Hail, I don't know. And then there's some mountains here, and this is Blas Blaskirk or something. Um, the forest and what it was hiding. Forests here, forests here. There's not much forest here, but there's like some trees and stuff. Um, hmm. A rook. Okay, what are people saying? On the round drawing. What's on the round drawing? Sickle weasel, tell me more. Does the sigil match the sigil on the round drawing? Sigil on the round drawing. Where's their sigil on this? There's this dude making like a symbol with his fingers, and there's these things. And then. Oh, these sigils? The thing that was said with this is that the, the towns are in the wrong places. When we got the letter with it, um, it said this map was secured while being passed from one cultist Eutastus to wash to another. It is not accurate since cities are in the wrong places. Your gurus failed to decipher it. So I think Hydra may have already explained this clue to us, but I don't know. Uh, but I thought it might be helpful to like figure out these other this other shit. Hmm. One thing that's probably crazy is like this is coming out of a circular well, and this is like a circular thing. I don't know if that's part of it. Uh, map symbols is coordinates. Could there be a piece of rolled up paper in the bottom of the chest pieces? I find it suspicious that there are holes. Hutch, if there's a piece of rolled up paper in there, I don't see it. I can see a lot of wood in there. Um, and I feel like you'd see like some something in there. That would be a really good place to hide it, but I don't, there's nothing. It's just wood all the way in. But that's a good question. Uh, 
well he carved the holes and that's what i found suspicious that's a lot of work so we don't know that hydra carved these holes um these are chess pieces these would have had to been created on some kind of lathe um so it could have been that the holes were already in the chess pieces i think the thing that hydra did the chess pieces was adding the sigil there which you were right to to look for but i think that these were just like kind of holes that they put some kind of piece in there to hold it while they were like spinning it on the lathe um because yeah i got my sculpting tool in there and there's nothing but clearly hydra should have hid something in there because people are right on that um let's see what's else what is up uh he carved the holes do the symbols on the chest piece align with something on the map perhaps that's a very good suggestion crafting troll so let's check this which came just before the chess pieces and let's check this because i think the thing with the chess pieces is that in that letter it said you can only choose one side we have observed you and decided that you have traveled the path far enough to receive a crucial token for your journey but beware the truth may be found at the bottom of bottom so this is the truth but this could also be the truth because that's at the bottom this was found in the bottom of the box but at the bottom of this chess piece was the sigil the circle on top well this a modified version of this sigil the circle on top a triangle and then uh like a cross at the bottom Hmm. Circle. I don't know. If you were to overlay that sigil on this. I don't know how that works. Um, so symbol. So the symbol on the chess piece is, is basically this symbol with a circle and a triangle, but instead of having a triangle at the bottom, it has a, a cross, like a line and then a, a cross. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to like align that, the circle with the various circles and then like visualize drawing a triangle out and then the cross, because the cross could be like X marks the spot. So like one cross position would be here, one cross position would be here, and if the circle's aligned there, then the cross position would be here. Near Yarmouth. Uh, don't really know. The moons below your hand. Don't be a piece of the map. Token is a piece of a map. That's a good idea. Draw with the angel. The tentacles are the same inside the box. Sorry, guys. I'm just catching up on the Instagram comments. People have got some really good ideas. Uh, the draw with the angel and the tentacles are the same. What does that mean? The draw with the angels and the tentacles are the same inside the box. So we've got tentacles here. We don't have any angel. This was inside the box. I don't think there's anything else inside the box. No. Hmm. I really want to know what this says, but I really can't figure it out. Like, this here could be a P, could be a D. This looks like a A, maybe? This, I want this to be an R, but S. And then this could be a C, this could be a P, oh, this could be a T. I thought that was an L, but there's a line there. T could be an A, R, C. God damn it. Man, sorry guys, I'm trying to keep up on the comments. I'm not doing a good job. Did you set up a Discord anyway? As for the chess pieces, maybe they interact with a later with a later box. Oh, that's a good point, Peter. Maybe there's another box coming that the chess pieces interact with. Um, there's a Discord for this thing. I didn't set up my own Discord. Not yet. Sorry, buddy. Um, that piece you just put on the paper looks like half the sigil on the box. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so 
I think that that is accurate, Thomas. Um, I think that this is part of a larger sigil, and definitely we have like the triangle thing is repeating everywhere. So the triangle on this the cast piece definitely looks like the sigil, and like the circle could be the skull, and then that sigil is also repeated here um, with the the circle on top and the triangle and the cross on the bottom. I can't make heads or tails of all these. I think someone said they might be coordinates, but they're hard to read. Um, like, I want this to be 24. Um, maybe like a two and another two? I, I don't know. Um, oh, I've never been this intrigued with something I had no context about. Okay, Sickle Weasel, thanks for, thanks for getting the con Oh, in case you missed the context earlier, this whole thing is for a narrative event that Hydra is going to host sometime in the distant future when COVID is no longer a thing. Um, and it is called The Alignment. It is a Frostgrave 28 event. So think of it like Mordheim, like kind of... Um, what's it called? Pathetic, something pathetic. What do we, what do we say about Mordheim? Where you're not super powered. It's like all about narrative. It's vaguely inspired by Cthulhu mythos because Hydra's all about that. And these are all a bunch of clues that he sent us. But the most recent one was this one with these guys in it and with this thing in it. And the one before that was this picture with, oh wait, sorry. That goes with that. This key which opened the bottom of the box, <laughs> although I didn't use it that way because I'm an idiot. Uh, so yeah, this had come with this, which kind of explains this thing. Hmm, I don't know. Um, and this came with this, which was the guy from the, the tower window gave me this stuff. The tourist fenestra, the tower window. So the tower window, here's the tower window. Is there a window on this rook? Or wait, on one of these? Like a tower? That would be really cool if you put a little window on it. No, I don't see a little window. But you're right, the hole in the bottom could be like a window. Um, okay, I just realized I was supposed to stop the stream at 8 because I'm, I promised my wife I was going to go hang out with her. So we might have to put this on pause. But I'm glad so many people showed up and you guys seem to be into this. Um, yeah. So yeah, sorry about being dropped in the middle of an escape room. I think that's Jeff. Um, this is all like in aid of the event that this guy's hosting and he sent us a number of different clues and this was the most recent one. So I wanted to open it, uh, on video so that Hydra could see that I actually opened it and see my reaction to his craziness. But, um, I might have to call it at this point. Is there anything on the underside of the box? That's a good question. I did check it. Um, here, I'll give you a good look at the underside of the box. It looks mostly just kind of like stained and colored. Uh, there's some green, green, brown. It would be a really good place to hide something. Uh, it's like a notch there, but I thought I'd have to like take it, up, like break it apart to find stuff. But there looks like there might be some very faint impressions on it, but very, very faint, like almost not there. And I wish I had a pencil. I'd do a rubbing, but I don't think there's anything on the bottom of the box. That is a good question. Although on the other side of this thing, it does look like it's, there's something going on. Like that looks like it could be, a, it could be just like impressions, but it looks like it could be a map or something. It'd be a really like funky map, but it's a good, good, good shout that there might be something on the bottom of this. But all right, I'm going to wait, check these comments and then I got to run. Oh shit. You guys still there? You're still there. Okay, the drow, the angel, wear a key, and there are some tentacles on the left. There is a tower. Yeah, so I think that when you talk about the tower and the window and all that, this is the tower. Like, this has got to be the tower. And it talks about a window in the tower, and, like, there's a window right there, which looks like it's lit, and the ones down here are not. They're, like, darker. Um, and there's talk of, like, the mountains and what's beneath them. There's mountains there. There's another building off to the right there. Um, the tower. 
the forest and what it's hiding. I don't see much other forest in here. It's pits. There's like a door over here, but we haven't really talked about that. It all began to move, is what it said. So, I don't know. Okay, I gotta run, but I'm gonna do one last run through the comments. Do the symbols on the chest pieces align with something on the map? We tried that. Seven symbols match the symbols on the ring around the map. There's no... Sim well, there's seven... So, the ring around the map, there are seven stars, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then here we have... One, two, three, four. Because there's three here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four. So this makes me want to align it like this. Because if we're matching up those stars with these stars, these kind of go like this. And there's two and one. And there's like kind of two and one. Not perfect, but what could it be telling us? And then if we do that... This looks a little dark. That's a little bright. Um, so if we were to align it like that, if it were to be that simple, then the key... I don't know, it's hard to figure it out, because like the key is pointing like just beyond the star. Like, is it like this? Like, I don't know how that lines up. But that's a good observation. Do the chess pieces unscrew at the bottom? That's a good question for a sprite. I don't... They feel pretty solid. And I think without breaking them, I'm not going to get anything more out of them. That's a good question. The rook has a circle, right? Maybe you can combine them with another triangle on some piece of the map. Rook has a circle. Seven sigils. Where was that thing? Seven sigils lit up the mountains and what play beneath them. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, the rook has a circle. We did that uh, to form the sigil. This has been a lot of fun. Okay. Place the head of the guy in the map in the circle of the box symbol. And maybe the arrow thing could point to something on the map. So if this guy's the circle, then the triangle would go... Like this, and like this. Maybe this is the, the triangle here. And then the, the other triangle would like point down here. And then on the bottom of this, similar thing triangle and then there's a there's a cross here so maybe what we're going for is this place blast skirt or Tracy maybe we're down in here maybe that's what we're heading for if that but this is an old clue so I don't know if this is meant to be used with it but that's a good observation certainly uh, first three letters are BRS HRC I believe does the end of the key line up with anything on the map yeah, so I wanted the end of the key to line up with anything on the map, but I don't think it does. I don't see the shape. I was thinking, because the key came actually like just before this clue, I thought the key might line up with something here. But all I can see is like the key holding overhead, pointing over here. So I'd expect it to line up somewhere. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Because this is like a tower. This kind of looks like a tower. That could work. But I don't know what it's really doing. Or it could go this way. Well, this... Mm, if the key goes there... Hold on. My wife's gonna fucking murder me! I hope you guys are appreciating this. Uh, let's try this. So... I want these two to work together. So we got the tower shape there. And the end of the key, I just realized, is kind of like a tower. So if we line it up there, it kind of like indicates this building. But we could also flip it this way. If we line it up there, it indicates the mountains. It says something about like beneath the mountains and what it's hiding. I don't know. That's a good observation, though. Good idea. Because I can't think of anything else on this drawing that the key would line up with. But 
I don't know. Anyway, you guys have had some really good ideas. I should do some rubbings just to see what's going on. Okay, on the traveling is my key. Yeah, so clearly this tower is of some significance. Even if we don't know what significance yet. Because there's like the tower, he's the order of the tower window. So something about the tower window is the shit. And clearly I need to get the other pieces of this thing. Because this is clearly a puzzle piece that's meant to be used with some other ones. But it is so friggin' cool. Hydra, you did an amazing job, you crazy mofo. If it, line, it lines up to the window, I don't know if that's a thing. Um, anyway, all right, I gotta call it, but thank you all so much for rolling up on this rando stream. Uh, I'm glad that people are open open to rando streams. I'm gonna have a real stream tomorrow, so please, uh, if you're able, tune in tomorrow on YouTube. I'm going to be going live. Maybe I'll turn the Instagram on as well. But I really can't. Well, I guess I can bring the speak spooky clues into my wife to make her not be mad at me. That might be cool. But she might get more mad at me because sometimes she gets uh, really mad when Hydra sends me cool shit and doesn't send her cool shit. Um, anyway. Oh, I should give it to her and let her try and figure it out and see if she can figure it out. See if she gets in here. Here, I'll plant this back here. Hopefully she's not watching the stream, because she does that sometimes. Because that would give it all away. Let's reassemble this for her pleasure. There we go. There we go. No, shit, I did that wrong. Fuck. Hopefully I can get this out now. Uh-oh. Come on! I screwed up! Maybe I can do this the old-fashioned way. Watch me break the whole damn thing. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's better. Put this back in here. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, we're doing another stream tomorrow. It's going to be Euro time for all you fabulous Euro people. I can't believe you stayed up for this. Uh, 3.30 tomorrow afternoon on YouTube. So tune in. Going to be doing something, something to it. And yeah, we'll go from there. So hopefully I'll see you on the stream tomorrow. Maybe I'll turn on the old Instagram stream as well. I've not tried that as much of this Instagram live stuff, but I'm glad you guys came in for that. This was here, right? And then this was... Oh, I can't remember what side they were on. Oh, well. Shove them in like that. Not for the best. Okay. I need this. I need this. I need this. All right. So thanks for tuning into the stream. I'll see you all tomorrow. And good night, everybody. Good night, everyone over on the Instagrams. Thanks for joining up. And this I will uh, 